chapter 2 is about fractions. Chapter 2, lesson 1, is about dividing fractions by a whole number. Okay, so which means when we say A divided by B, that's technically the same thing as saying 1 over B of A. Okay, or A times 1 over B. Okay, so we should know from the past when we see of, that means multiply. So when it says 1 over B of A, we're multiplying those. And we've learned from the past also that the multiplication can be switched around. Okay, so we also must remember that fractions cannot be divided. So that's why here we have to convert it to a multiplication process first. Okay, and remember in grade 5, we learned that anything in the numerator should be able to cancel with anything on the denominator. So cancel means divide. So, um, and finally, in this lesson, the book will show two different methods. Okay, both are okay. The better though is the method 2. So this is technically method 1 and this is method 2. So this is the better way. Okay, so uh, I'll show, and uh, again, if you have a choice, do method two. But if there's already a setup that's having you think of method one, then you have to use method one. So that's why you need to know both. But for long-term purpose, we will do the method two. Okay, page 38, I've selected from problem 1D. Okay, so the first question says 1 fifth divided by 4. So I'll write here method 1. Okay, so their method 1 is this. So which means we do 1 fourth times 1 fifth. Okay, so if you look at, I'll put the answer there. If you look at here, there's nothing on the numerator that will cancel with anything on the denominator. So that means the final simplified form of this is 1 over 20. So that's 1 over 20. Okay, however, when we do method 2, okay, that would be this one. And again, this on the long run will be the preferred method. So which means we keep the 1 fifth. Since we cannot divide, we need to multiply. But when we change the operation, we need to take the reciprocal of the number after the division sign. So once you change, you take the reciprocal. So since 4 is a whole number, that's over 1. So when you take the reciprocal of that, that becomes 1 over 4. So which means no, from greed Two and grade 3, we know that multiplication can be in any order. So therefore, this will also give us 1 over 20. Okay, looking at letter D, I'll again do these, uh, this one in two methods. Okay, so method 1 is 1 ninth times 6 over 7. Okay, so... Again, anything in the numerator should be able to cancel with anything on the denominator. So if I look, there's a 6 and a 9, those cancel. So that would mean I can divide by 3, 2, and I can divide by 3, 3. And then we multiply across. So that's 1 times 2 is 2 over 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, moving on to method 2, we take 6 sevenths and we're going to change the operation to multiplication. And when we do, we take the reciprocal of the fraction after. So since it's a whole number, the fraction expression is 9 over 1. Reciprocal meaning flip. The reciprocal will be 1 over 9. So again, we cancel. So this will be 2 and this will be 3, which gives us the same final answer, 2 over 21. So in summary, method 2 is 
the better approach. However, if the problems that are given to the kids is set up as method one, we can't force method two. That concludes lesson one of chapter two. I'll see you in the next lesson.